urges. Everyone has urges. Some have an urge to eat, to sleep, to fortnight repeat. And some have more primal urges. Passed down from generation to generation, the power to control these urges have been placed in the palm of our hands. Some of you may have heard of this ritual before. You may know it as beating one's meat, going cruising for an oozing, choking the chicken, or the more commonly known term, fapping. It's fapping. How do you not know what that is? What are you, fucking 12? Recently, a new phenomenon has been sweeping the nation. A new Resident Evil game has been released, and because of a particular giantess vampire queen, now everyone seeks release themselves. I am no different from the mere mortal. I too have these urges, and my primal instincts are kicking in. But alas, I really want to beat this game, and so this challenge has been born. Can I beat Resident Evil 8 without beating my own meat, aka the one-handed run? And for the amount of hand torture that there is in this game, I think the concept fits. Oh yeah, did I mention we have a daughter now? Don't you dare try to run away, you are indeed the father. A couple of ground rules to lay out for one, we are using keyboard and mouse, and since I'm a righty, I will be using my left, as my right will be... <coughs> ...occupied. Number two. If I use my second hand at any point in time, I must restart to the last checkpoint. And if you don't believe that I completed this run legitimately, then go see it for yourself. All the footage is found on my second channel. The playlist link is in the description below, you big stinky head. Before the run starts, make sure to go grab some snacks, some drinks, and your favorite lotion, as this one's gonna be a bumpy ride. Speaking of one-handed runs, all it takes is one hand to click the like button, subscribe, and to share to your friends. It helped me a ton and show that you enjoy my content. Thanks. Will Lady Demetres cause me to bust in tears? Will I be strong enough to resist the urge of using both hands? <clears throat> I don't know, maybe. We start off by reading a book to our potato of a baby after we had come from Mama Mia's Botox appointment. It's getting a little late, so I decide to take my baby back to its crib while Mia starts preparing drinks for the smexy time. Who would have guessed that it was also the 4th of July in Texas? Ethan bursts in and takes my baby without saying a single word, knocks me out, and we soon wake up to a crash vehicle out in the middle of nowhere with my wife dead and my baby missing. We start trekking forward, hurting my hands along the way with whatever we can find laying around. And let me tell you, right now, walking around with one hand is not easy. You constantly stumble everywhere you go. Soon, we find a knife and we meet an old man who blows his load all over us, but in order to keep it a secret, he gives us a reward instead of cab fare and sends us out to the street like another piece of meat. Did I mention that there's a lot of hand torture porn in this game? Using old tactics like the 180 degree turn crouch grab from our no mouse movement run, if you haven't seen it, Go watch it, it's in the description below. We grab the shotgun and we use the environment around us while we stumble around until I took an arrow in the knee. <laughs> Stop using memes from 2012, it's cringe. After escaping from that ambush, we meet up with the town for an emergency meeting. I don't know about you, but that guy seems a little sus. Meeting up with Magneto from the X-Men, we're taken to a room with the threats to our life and the biggest threat to the one-handed run, Mommy. Our drunken ass somehow manages not to get chopped up and escapes to meet the Sigma himself, the Duke. He'll be helping us out along the way to make sure my grubby right hand stays away from Lady D. And yes, we'll be calling her Lady D for the rest of the run. I guess you can say her and I are, uh, pretty close. We make our way inside the castle and let ourselves get captured so that we may meet Lady D up close and personal. At this point, I felt the run was about to end as my right hand was trembling because we have found the sacred holy place, Lady D's bathroom ah uh, yes yes oh luckily though lady was there to make sure that my right hand would stay put as she was the first one to give me the sweet sweet embrace of death 
We try again, this time barely scraping by, as it's kind of hard for us to climb downstairs, but we make it through, and we end up killing her first two daughters with the help of a raid spray bottle and good old-fashioned lead. We quickly learn a song to try to serenade Mother and beg for forgiveness as we finish off her last child. Not really quite sure why she decided to be in an open room anyways, it's kind of her fault. We pull off some sweet one-handed trick shots, meet Lady D in the castle for forgiveness, but she wasn't having any of it. We leave and find a dagger with crusty old DNA on it from the previous one-handed run player, and we penetrate Mother with it as she penetrates us, then throws us across the room and gives us the smacks we've been looking for this whole run. Unfortunately though, she was in the four and I wasn't having it. I like kink, but that's just a little too much. So I had to bring her down. With the biggest threat to the one-handed run being over, the run is now completed. Thank you for watching. Uh, hello? Wait, the game's not over? But I'm not horny anymore. I just killed the love of my life. You really wanna... All right, all right, fine, fine, jeez. I guess we still have to go save our daughter. We pick up the first forbidden orange juice and start making our way to the next area where we unfortunately died again by penetration. We reach the next area, aka the Goosebumps home, and we begin our investigation rewarded by a sex doll that looks like Mamma Mia. However, it just doesn't feel the same as Lady D's beautiful skin. After picking the termites off my dick, we come across one of my worst nightmares. The one night stand coming back with a baby saying it's mine. It's not mine, stop calling me. Running away from my problems, we end up playing a game of hide and go seek with a possessed doll, and due to my fear of porcelain dolls, we stab her right in the face, revealing the one night stand that I was trying to hide from, who then aborts a key for me. We get more Sunny D, and displaying our love for Team Edward, we move on into the Swamplands, where we collect another piss jar and stumble in on your average Amaranth viewer. And just like all the other Amaranth viewers, he was a fish, because he was so goddamn thirsty. He didn't like being made fun of very much and decided not to only kill me once, but a total of four times. Who knew walking on water was difficult for a one-handed man? But that's all right. Using a couple of explosives laid around the swamp, some shotgun shells, as well as some of our own explosives, we blew him up just like he blew up his credit score. We head back to the shack, pick up the next key, and change the channel for good. Heading back to the hub, we take on the big time werewolf, find the last piss jar, insert all of the pieces into an altar, and finally head into the final zone the factory. Here, Heisenberg tells us that he wants us to use Rose as an asset against Miranda, but we decline and we go downstairs to meet one of my biggest fans. After the meeting, we find ourselves in the heart of the factory where we like to forge custom 3D printed hentai figures. They're collectibles, I swear. Whilst on our venture for more materials, we end up getting Bioshocked. After dealing with that, we find the backup generator, blow up some more big daddies, and stumble our way across these real-life action figures. Seriously, what the fuck were their problems? We finally meet up again with our biggest fan and end up having to take him out. I guess you can call him a die-hard fan. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. We meet up with Chris and somehow he's found a non-magnetic tank for us to use against Heisenberg. From there, we do the one thing that we do best. Use one hand to blow my load all over the place. This fight was particularly easy except when I was on the ground and I had to run for a few seconds at a time, stand still, and shoot. Despite that, this fight was pretty metal. Out of the wreckage, we find out that Miranda had been playing as my wife this whole time and it hurts so much that it feels like someone ripped my heart out. Let we cut to Chris watching pretty dicey content before having to take matters into his own hand. God damn it, when does it end? Shooting, punching, and blowing shit up. That's what America's all about! Hoorah! We take down another leader of the werewolf gang who's contracted tapeworms and we get so goddamn lucky as he missed us every single time that we were shooting and bombing him. We somehow succeed and we find Mamma Mia down in the basement and we we finally put her out of her misery. We wake up to Ethan somehow being alive thanks to Duke, and we find out that we've been a mold monster this whole time. We find Miranda, and with a little help from Chris, we get started on the final boss fight. But alas, due to one-handed controls, Miranda takes us out three times before we can develop an actual strategy for the one-handed run. After perseverance and dedication, we finally defeat Miranda, find our baby Rose, and with our hand disappearing into the wind, we end the run. This run took about seven hours to complete with a total of nine deaths. Not too shabby for a man who was constantly horny. If you want more of this content, make sure to pound that like button, leave a comment saying one-handed coomer, and I will heart your comment. If you're trying to find some content that will make you feel all gooey inside, think about subscribing. If you have some challenges that you think might make me angry, put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you 
in the next video.